Hello and welcome back to Flip FIFA. Uh, we are sitting at 20th with Peterborough United. And uh, you know what? We're in the middle of the transfer window. So, uh, you know, it's the Super Sunday. We normally do the highlights and that sort of thing. That's what we've decided on. And what I'm going to do is there's only two games uh, remaining while the transfer window is open. So we'll play both of those games up first. And then I'll smash through a few games at the end into a highlights package for you. And we'll reconvene with a... Uh, an update on where we're sitting in the ladder. So let's just get into this one, see if there's any transfer action. Still looking at Reese Oxford, of course, and uh, two games, and then we'll hit the highlights and we'll wrap this one up. Hopefully you enjoy this one. So we start with the big news that Reese Oxford has accepted his contract. It cost us 400,000, and we got rid of that hopeless bastard in Ben Ornwick. Uh, so welcome to the club, Reese Oxford, our first big signing of the career mode. We also have a transfer offer for Callum Shetel. Uh, shit all. I'm not sure what his last name actually is, but a two-year loan to Morecambe will accept that. He's not getting any game time. And the news has come through that Lee Angles off to Wickham, uh, 220 into the kitty. All right, travelling to Old Trafford to take on Manchester United. Rhys Oxford will be getting his first run out. Uh, he is straight into the first team at centre-back, which means Boswick goes to the bench, but that just allows him to freed up to come into the midfield if required. And uh, just starting to strengthen us a little bit. We're in 20th. Manchester United are only in 8th. So it uh, be interesting to see what they come out with. We did beat them in the Johnson Paint Trophy. Uh, so a real opportunity here for Peter Barra to continue the form that we've been on. And possibly, possibly, unlikely, but possibly have a red hot crack here at Manchester United. So Reese oxford has been given the number four jersey. He's only 17 years of age, 65 rated. Let's see what the young lad is capable of. I thought he was probably the best acquisition we could have gone for with the money that we did have. Um, there's a little bit of cash there, but we need to save some for scouting and the likes. So uh, I'll just see if there's anyone else possibly worth bringing in uh, just to help us out a little bit. But that may be our only signing of the summer. Here's the Manchester United side. And they've got Romero between the sticks. They're playing a 4-5-1. And uh, it'll be hard for us enough to try and break this down. So we'll just keep the continued run of form that we've been playing the style. Sitting back, defending, trying to hold the game out. And if we get the opportunity to get forward to Jono Taylor and try and put one in past the keeper. There is our starting lineup. Oxford comes into the side. Let's get into this game at Old Trafford. Gillett fires one down the line. Looking for Jono Taylor. He cuts inside Daly Blinn. He's trying to use the pace, but Baines was too quick for him. Oh, John O'Taylor does well, though. Can he get a cross in? He's trying hard. He's looking for Coulthurst. Schweinsteiger takes it. Here's Ostuma. He slips it inside. Coulthurst across. Madison. John O'Taylor. Straight at Romero. Half time and nil all. We've defended well. They, I mean, Manchester United have had their opportunities, but Watmore's made some amazing saves, and it's still nil at half time. Forrester fires this one forward. It's Cool Thirst making that charging run. Cuts inside nicely. Cool Thirst! Oh, save from Romero. And probably one of our best opportunities getting forward. We've got a corner out of it. Try to hit him on the counter. Here's Osuma. Delivers it in the box. Romero can't keep it out. And Herrera has it. He takes it back and he shits a biscuit. And it's going to be another corner for Peterborough United. Oh, John O'Taylor. Keep going, son. John O'Taylor slips it across. Get in, Madison scores. 1-0 Peterborough and fucking United. Get in, lad. At Old Trafford, they're both sleeping inside a fence. But who gives a shit? That was John O'Taylor. And he is turning himself into the pinnacle of this side. Madison finishes it perfectly. And it's 1-0 to Peterborough United here at Old Trafford. Shell shock for the United fans. Oh, get in, lad. Sleeping on the fence. And... Well, that's a little bit naughty. This could be oh, there we go. It didn't take long. Manchester United put the foot on the fucking accelerator as soon as we took the goal. And it's Bastian Schweinsteiger. Well, Baldwin got the clearance, but then he was left out of position. Reese Oxford couldn't cover the space. And what more done by sheer class. We were calling for offside. It didn't matter. And it's one all here now at Old Trafford. Kill it. Madison, 
taking the game on. There's Madison. He's just got a slip around Daly Blinn. He's already got one. Oh, what a save from Romero. And it's a corner now for Peterborough. So it's a corner here for Peterborough. Six minutes remaining here at Old Trafford. Madison whips in. Finds Forrester. Deflection. It's gone in. Forrester scores. 2-1 Peterborough United. Well, the deflections helped us there for sure. But who cares? You've just gone 2-1 up at Old Trafford. Madison slid it in. Seen Forrester on the edge of the box. He took the shot. It's gone off Schweinsteiger. And leapfrogged straight into the top left corner. Romero, no chance on that one. It's 2-1 to Peterborough. Get in, lad. It is a corner. Watmore's made nine saves to keep us in the lead. Here they come. They've brought the keeper up. Watmore smashes it long. Oh, and Herrera's got it. There it is. Full time. Victory for Peterborough United at Old Trafford. An unbelievable story. And we take three points. 11 shots to 9. Well, we had a game and a half there. Madison with an 8.0, but it has to be Watmore. He made at least 10 saves in that one. Well, we've got a transfer offer for Jordan Nicholson for a two-year loan to Burton Albion. We're going to accept that. All right, we've got a one-year loan offer here for Leonardo da Silva Lopez. He's getting the occasional game, and we're just utilizing his speed, but I'd like him to get a lot more game time and some form, so we're going to send him to Scunthorpe United. All right, a transfer offer for Joe Gormley. Uh, 58 overall striker, not really featuring in anything. They've offered us 90 grand. We want to at least get his value. I'm going to go for 150. Right, another live game for you here, and it's Peterborough back at the Abax Stadium after that amazing win against Manchester United. We host Sunderland, and Sunderland are below us on the table, so uh, maybe we'll play a little bit more aggressive in this one, see if we can take another three points. Uh, not a lot of action on the transfer front for us, so we don't really have much cash to play with. Uh, but we're up to 30 points now with the eight wins on the board and things looking a little bit on the up. I mean, the best thing about Peterborough United from looking through their squad is that a lot of these players are actually really young. So uh, a good chance to develop a lot of them. And uh, we actually have a lot of players out on loan that I didn't even realize. There's a striker, uh, a midfielder, and a couple of other young lads that have been out that I didn't even realize. So they'll be back at the end of this season. Uh, we've sent another lot out on loan as well. And uh, good signs for the future for Peterborough. A few more signings will be required and we will need some cash. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with actually how we're sitting at the moment. There's our starting lineup, the usual suspects. And Oxford getting his second game. Had a pretty good day out in the last one. He's got good height and I like that. He was really getting up in the air and clearing a lot of balls. Here is the Sunderland lineup. And uh, all right, an interesting team. Let's get into this. Paul Thurst slips one over the top, looking for John O'Taylor. Has he got the pace? Can he use it? He does. It's John O'Taylor. Slips through again. John O'Taylor. Oh, a little bit heavy on the shot. Gillett fires it forward. John O'Taylor doing the work. Still, jo Oh, taken down. That's a pen. John O'Taylor plays for the penalty. He gets taken down in the box from behind. And that will be a penalty. Yellow card comes out. And John O'Taylor doing anything he can to get a chance to take a shot on goal. Come on, lad. Give us the lead here. That would be crazy. John O'Taylor going top right corner. Bangs it in. 1-0 Peterborough. John O'Taylor again. As we start on a bit of a steamrolling run here, Peterborough United. Finding some touch, finding some form. And uh, big things for the future, for the looks of things, for the almighty posh. Great finish from Taylor. No chance for the keeper. Seventh goal for the season. Forrester shoots one out long. And wants Madison to run. He's found some space. It's Madison. He keeps the ball in. He keeps going. Does well, Madison. Gets into a shot. Oh, what a goal from Madison. It's 2-0 Peterborough United. And Sunderland absolutely shell-shocked here at the Avax Stadium. What a fucking finish that was from Marcus Madison. He cut inside the most acute of angles. Oh, that is delicious finishing. And it's 2-0 here. Oh, delicious. Was that poor goalkeeping or just an amazing finish? I'll take both. 2-0 Peterborough. Halftime, it's 2-0 to Peterborough United. Forrest has put a ball through. And it's John O'Taylor. John O'Taylor. 
Cuts back nicely. John o. Taylor. Oh, sidebar with an absolute rocket. Oz Tuma has a ping. Oh, what a goal from Little Ozzy. Oh, that is a cracking strike. Wow. How are these goals even going in? What form we have. Everyone is on point. And Little Oz Tuma, the smallest man in football, has absolutely skidded one there past Minone. Probably didn't see it come off his foot because he's only about one foot tall. And he's put it in. And it is now 3-0 to Peterborough United. Delicious. Delicious. There's Boswick. He's just come on. Feeds it out to Nabby. Does well, does Nabby. Still going Nabby. Slips one forward. He's got John O'Taylor. Oh, he was offside. It was a clinical finish. Oh my God, Watmore. What a save from Watmore. Protecting that clean sheet with his life. Oh, mate. He has been on point today. Here comes another one. And it's Watmore again. And there it is, full time. A 3 0 smashing from Peterborough. And we are on a run here, that is for sure. So we only had the five shots, but three of them went in. Chris Forrester with an 8.4 really controlled the midfield. All right, transfer offer for Marcus Madison from 1860 Mution. And they're ready to pay some big money, but uh, I'm not happy for him to leave. He's been doing an outstanding job for us. We're going to reject that offer. Got another offer for Marcus Madison. I'm going to go ahead and reject all offers because uh, I don't feel he needs to leave Peterborough at this stage. All right, transfer offer for Jack Baldwin, and he's our number one centre back along with Oxford. Uh, he's been doing a really good job. He's a little bit unhappy. He wants some more cash. We'll see if we can sort that out after this window finishes. So we're going to reject all offers. All right, so this may be a little bit controversial, but uh, Billy Knott has uh, accepted a contract. We cost us 230 grand, and Joe Gormley. Um, Billy Knott, we played with him in our uh, Road to the World Cup Australia series, and, and he was the only real player that I kept, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, just in the news yesterday, he's actually decided to leave Bradford City uh, at the end of the season. He's just weighing up his options of which club he's going to get to. Uh, so he may not even be in FIFA 17. So what another crack, playing with Billy Knott. Uh, he's a great little player, 62 overall, 23. Kind of fits that young profile that Peter Burrow is sort of building. Uh, so welcome to the club. He will come in and help our midfield. Now, the other reason behind this is uh, Gillett, who is our starting centre mid at the moment, is on loan. I didn't realise this, so he'll be leaving at the end of the season. And we need someone to fill that spot. So Billy Knott, he's the man. All right, the transfer window is shut. So only the two acquisitions there in uh, Reese Oxford and Billy Knott. We've got about 100 grand left in the kitty and about eight or nine grand in wages. But I want to keep that, obviously, for this youth academy. Let's have a look through it. Uh, Humura is a 55 overall, 72 to 86, looking pretty good. Could possibly bring him in soon. Uh, and Tonis is a 72 to 80. I'm actually going to release him. He's rubbish. Uh, Fahad El Sharif, 70 to 86. Josh Fuller, 83 to 93, 62 overall goalkeeper. Uh, Sitala is a 78 to 88. Imada, 66 to 82. Runmin Liang, 66 to 86. Stuart Jones, 81 to 91. Uh, Eltonen is 58 overall, 80 to 90 playmaker. Uh, he may get a contract in the next month or so. And El Mazil, 74 to 94, physically strong. That is what we want, but he's only 49, so he's got a bit of growing to do. Start off here with a game against QPR at Loftus Road. And we've been a bit of up and down on form. But I was just hopeful that we would get through. Billy Knott unfortunately got tackled early. Hoylett took a shot in the 29th minute and put it past Watmore to give QPR a 1-0 lead. In the 83rd minute, well, it looks like we would get back inside. And it was Madison who would scoot past the defensive line to equalize in the 84th minute. And uh, not a bad run there from the lads. Taylor just chipped inside, found Madison. He turned on the defender, put it past the goalkeeper, and it was one all. And that's how it finished. QPR were the dominating side, but we scraped through with a point. We then hosted Aston Villa back at the Abax Stadium. And after taking the one all draw, we wanted to get back to winning ways. Taylor fed it inside, and it was Madison once again putting it past the keeper in the 50th minute. And uh, that's how the game would finish at 1-0. We'd basically just set up defending, defending, defending. Only allowed them two shots. 
and eventually we got the go-ahead goal and three points. We then went to the Vitality Stadium to take on Bournemouth and uh, a little bit of change of form. We find a little bit of touch. In the 44th minute though, Enclay gave one away and Bournemouth absolutely came inside, but unfortunately off Smith's boot. Uh, it wasn't gone down as an own goal just before half time, but quite demoralizing for the Peterborough lads. Watmore couldn't believe it. We defended so well in the first half, uh, only to give away a cheap goal right before half time. Uh, Smith was trying to do his job, but he gave it away. Bournemouth were the aggressor, 13 shots, and we lost 1 0. We then uh, hosted Newcastle United, and they just came out absolutely like a bull on fire. We defended very, very well for the first half, but then they sort of got their passing game. John Joe Shelby came on, split through the middle, and just knocked one in off Watmore to give them the lead in the 62nd minute. Later in the game, Wijnaldum fed it back to Taylor, back to Shelby, who'd been quite instrumental in the first goal. And uh, he was the man that sort of set this one up as well as they pushed forward through our defense. And off Watmore with a great save, but no defenders went there to help him out. They put in the second, and it was 2-0 to Newcastle, and that's how that one would finish. Newcastle taking the points. We then hosted Chelsea with a, uh, a pretty full-strength team. Oxford into the team at centre-back, doing quite well these days. Uh, Chelsea sent out a pretty full-strength team, but Coulthurst out on the wing, slipped one through to John O'Taylor, and he took on the defensive line like an absolute greyhound out of the races, put one past Begovic, and it was 1-0 to Peterborough United inside five minutes. Uh, we pretty much defended for the rest of the first half, parking the bus until Taylor, just using that speed. And, and this is what he's doing. He's using that speed, getting through the defensive line, puts in his second goal. It was 2-0 to Peterborough United. Uh, in the second half, though, Chelsea came back. A good ball inside from William found Mikel in the box. He put one past Watmore. And uh, then later on again, only about 15 minutes later, Matic with an absolute cracking ball in. Fine Felcow. I'm not sure if it was offside or not. It didn't matter. They equalized in the 70th minute. And that's how that one would finish. Uh, pretty easy 2-2. The final game, we went to Selhurst Park to take on Crystal Palace. We defended so well for the entire game. Billy Knott passed one through to Madison. He slipped it through. Coulthurst put the afterburners on. And in the 76th minute, hit Spironi up. Went in, followed his ball up and it would end up being a 1-0 victory to Peterborough. Only the four shots, but we did what we needed to. Right, action pack highlights there, and we'll wrap this one up with a couple of uh, scouting reports, uh, a squad report, and an absolute crazy long episode. But let's have a look here, Japan. Uh, Himura is a 76 to 84, uh, El Sharif 71 to 85, Josh Fuller, he is available to come into the squad now. 62 overall, 83 to 89, but I'm happy with how Watmore's going, so I might just leave him there to develop. Uh, Sitala, 82 to 88. Imada, 71 to 83. Runmin Liang, 71 to 87. Stuart Jones, 60 overall, 81 to 87. Uh, Elton, 58 overall, 81 to 87. And El Mazil, 75 to 91. All right, we're back in Japan again, and uh, Kanemoto, we're going to reject. A 68 to 92 in Suzuki, we will sign up. Uh, a 69 reject. Uh, Kazuyoshi can go. A 76 reject. 75 reject. Uh, Yoshi Ishara, he is going to be rejected. And Okamasa can go as well. Uh, Cameroon, 62, reject. 66 to 92, and Dogo Miyoyo. Uh, um, doesn't look too bad. I might give him another month. 83, reject. A 71 to 94, Kingsley Barragar. Uh, he looks pretty good. We're going to sign him up. We need some defenders. Um, an 83, reject. Oh, yes. Kofi, Ajuku, 53 to 67. We've scouted him for two months. Come into the club. Um, an 81 reject. And a 71 to 91 in Slumiani Barragar. Uh, I'm going to leave for another month. And this is Ghana. Oh, Abraham Harvey. He can come in straight away. Uh, 68 reject. 80 reject. 71 to 91. And Mabo, we will scout further. And 80 reject. 73 reject. 78 reject. 75 to 94. Samuel Nayako can come in. And 86, I'm just going to leave there because he looks like he could be a forward. Uh, John O'Taylor picked up a sprained ankle. He's out for nine days, so uh, we could be a bit thin if we've got any games coming up. All right, it is the 1st of March. Let's do a squad report. We haven't done one since before the, uh, the transfer window, so uh, let's get through this. 
Andre Watmore, 64, gone up 18. We've been training him fairly extensively and he's been doing a very good job. Michael Smith, 69, gone up two. Reese Oxford, 67, gone up two. Jack Baldwin, 68, gone up six. Uh, M. Clays, 69, gone up three. Chris Forrester's a 67, gone up five. We've been training him fairly heavily. Billy Knott, 63, gone up one. Oz Toomer's a 66, gone up one. Madison, a 68, gone up three. Jono Taylor's a 69, gone up three. Uh, cool Thurst is 65, gone up three. Mark Tyler, 61, gone down two. And he's retiring at the end of the season, so he's almost dead. Uh, Boswick's is 63. Christian Pestrin is 60, gone up two. He's only showing great potential, our scout future star, and not really growing in physicals, which is a shame. Harry Tofolo, he's on loan. Uh, 66, gone up two. Uh, Adul Nabi, 64, gone up two. Simon Gillett is also on loan here at Peterborough, 63. Uh, Gabriel Zakawani, 64, gone up one. Andrew Fox is a 49, gone up one. Dean Henry, a 46. Ricardo Santos is a 60, gone up three. Uh, Jermaine Anderson is 61, gone up three. Aaron Williams is a 61, gone up three. Tom Nichols is 61, gone up three. Harry Beautyman, a 54, gone up one. Okay, these guys are out on loan that I didn't realize at the start of the season, but Sean Brisley, a 66 overall center back. Uh, he could be fairly handy when he comes back. He's six foot two from England. Uh, so yeah, some good depth there. Jack Payne also out on loan, 64, gone up one. Uh, Suleiman Kulabiali, 67, striker, gone up three. So he's at Newport County and uh, could come back even though he's a no-face player. Uh, we may have some use for him in our second season. Luke James is a 65, gone up two. And Kyle Vassell, a 62, gone up one. So a lot of strikers here. Jack Friend, a 52, gone up two. Uh, Callum Shettle, a 51, gone up four. Jordan Nicholson, a 57, gone up two. Leonardo da Silva Lopez, a 53, gone up two. And that is the full squad. As for the tables, we've moved up to 14th position. We've had a pretty good run of form. You know, a good couple of wins there against some tough opponents and uh, losing against some struggling sides, which is not really what you want. But uh, sitting mid-table, I'm, I'm very happy with that. We're on 41 points. We're only 10 points out of a playoff zone. And uh, what is it? I'm not sure how many games are left in the season. Probably a, a decent handful here in League 2. I think we play 40-odd games. So, uh, yeah, still still some work to do from Peterborough. But a mid-table finisher I'll probably be happy with. And hopefully we can get some cash moving into the next season. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I know it's been a long one. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. I'm Aspiring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. Slips through. Passes it off. Goes looking for Toure. He cuts inside. Abdul-Hak Toure gets here. 1-0 FC Bayern Munich.